What is up folks, how's it going? This is Watch for MW Technology and today we're going to be doing a little road trip from here in Vancouver, Canada to Seattle, Washington in the States. I'm going to PAX, I'm doing some other things along the way, but the reason why I'm filming uh, this video is I want to actually do a range test on the car behind me, the 2022 rear wheel drive LFP Model 3 from Tesla. Now I actually never did a proper range test or any kind of long journey road trip on this specific car, so I'm going to see how it kind of handles. Now it's two years old, it has over 30,000 kilometers on it, and when it was new, Tesla rated it the range to be about 430 ish kilometers. So we're going to see if that's uh, true, if the battery has degraded, and we're going to have some fun along the way. So let's get inside and I'll give you an overview. Okay, so we're going to go inside the car and I'll show you guys our trip overview in the navigation. So the first stop that we're going to go to is actually the Boeing a Flight of Future or Future Flight Factory, which is about 137 kilometers away. We're going to do a little factory tour of Boeing, which is going to be pretty cool. And that'll take us very close to Seattle, Everett, and uh, it'll just go right down I-5 uh, down there. And then after that, we're going to go to our parking lot for uh, PAX Prime or PAX West and uh, that'll be uh, in uh, downtown Seattle. So we're gonna add that, and then it's gonna give us a rough kind of estimate in terms of how far it is, how long it's gonna take, and what kind of battery estimate uh, we're gonna be. So it says 43%, uh, so that technically means we're not gonna make it. We need at least 50% uh, or, or around there to get back. But we'll see how we do in terms of efficiency. It's about uh, the total trip is going to be under 400 kilometers. Uh, we're charged at 100% right now. And if I tap right there, it says 416 in terms of the guess -o meter. Uh, this car hasn't been really test driven from 100% um, to 0%. So we'll see how accurate that is and how we'll do. So let's get on the road. Quick update, we're about 12 kilometers in, approaching uh, the border for the US and Canada. I'm gonna stop filming uh, and then we'll cross over the border. Now we're over the border in the land of the free. We're going about 105 kilometers an hour, which is about 65 miles an hour, five under the speed limit. We've updated our um, overall efficiency. We're going to arrive at the Boeing factory at 56% battery. And uh, our efficiency right now as it stands is about 137 watt hours per kilometer. Okay, so to give you guys a little status update, we're about 100 kilometers into the trip and our efficiency has gone way down as the temperature has increased and it has the battery also increased in terms of temperature. You're gonna get much better efficiency compared to starting out with a cold battery. So we're uh, looking at 126 watt hours per kilometer, much improved. That means our official arrival a percentage has gone up dramatically. We're gonna arrive at the Boeing factory at 62% and in downtown Seattle at 52%. So that means we could definitely make it back home in one charge as long as we keep things pretty much in the same conditions. That means uh, turning down the HVAC a little bit and going at a little bit of a slower speed. Uh, obviously you're not gonna make great time with this, but if you have a little bit of time to spare and wanna maximize the efficiency in the Model 3, this is how you do it. Okay, so we have arrived at the Boeing factory and here is our trip so far. So uh, our first stint was about 161 kilometers, it took us about an hour and 49 minutes. Uh, that's the efficiency, 124 watt hours per kilometer. And uh, we're gonna arrive at our next stop at 54% after my tour of the Boeing factory. And uh, we'll see how that goes, but uh, looks like everything is looking really awesome. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back from Boeing and uh, I had to pick up some Chick-fil-A, which is on the way to downtown Seattle. Uh, we're looking really good. We should arrive at the uh, parking area at 56%. So let's go. Now we're entering the city of beautiful Seattle and uh, it's always tricky getting inside. There's only one real major highway that goes in so everything gets really bottlenecked so it takes like half an hour to always get in but we're making great time and pretty good efficiency. Uh, we'll go into the parking garage and we'll do a summary. Okay, so now we're in downtown Seattle. We've parked, we got about 56% uh, left on the battery and we're halfway through the journey. So definitely no problem in getting back home, but let's go on and check out PAX. So, Okay, so I'm all done with packs. Uh, it's unfortunately too much to cover in one day. Next time I'll definitely have to come for a couple of more days. I have been in the past, but uh, these shows are just getting larger and larger and there's just so much stuff to do. If you're a gamer, I would highly recommend PAX West anyways, and uh, definitely worth checking out if you're in the uh, Northwest area. Now I'm gonna go to something extremely, extremely special. I'm super excited about this. I'm actually gonna go see Pantera and Metallica right down the road uh, in Lumen Stadium. It's uh, kind of a lifetime dream of mine to see these bands, and they're probably not gonna play here ever again, uh, especially Pantera. So let's go check that out, and then we'll drive back home. Okay, so we just left Seattle. The concert was awesome, by the way. Definitely a bucket list item. And uh, we're heading back home. And as you can see from our estimated arrival, we should be at 10%. So we have a plenty of buffer and uh, we'll see how that comes to fruition as we drive through the night. Okay, so now it's the next day. We're back from the trip, but I'm gonna give you an overview of our uh, road trip. The total distance was actually 398 kilometers. We had about 11% remaining on the battery. Uh, right now it's the next day, so we actually lost about a percent, so it's at 10% right now, which should possibly give us another 40 kilometers of range. So let's see if we can get 440 out of this thing, and let's go and hit the road. Okay, so we are on the move, and uh, today's definitely gonna be a hotter day, 31 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for efficiency testing. Uh, we've done about 18 kilometers since 10%, uh, which is uh, pretty darn good. We're at 7% right now, which will give us about 28 based on the, on the gum. And uh, we're just gonna drive around and see really how much we can get. So here's a little suspense for you guys. We're heading back home over the bridge and uh, basically we're gonna arrive back home at around zero to 1%. So we might not make it, who knows, but uh, I'm pretty confident that we should have no problem getting back and then we'll start charging. Okay, so we uh, just went uh, up our last hill and it's only downhill until home. 
Uh, right now our efficiency is sitting at around 125 watt hour per kilometer. It's only going to drop from here because it's pretty much all downhill and we should really have no problem in uh, getting back home. Uh, right now the battery is only at 2%. Definitely wouldn't recommend doing this on a regular basis but this is just kind of an extreme uh, test to see how many kilowatt hours we can squeeze out of this battery and what the real world range is in terms of efficiency style driving. Uh, so we'll keep you updated but uh, I'm pretty confident that the car is not going to leave me stranded. And as you can see we have made it back. We're parking back into the garage and uh, let me just get that done. And I'll show you guys what we're looking at. So we have uh, pretty much gotten 53 kilowatt hours out of the battery. Uh, we went about 444 total uh, distance uh, on this charge. We have about 1% left. And uh, that gives us about, uh, if we click that, about another five kilometers. So we can definitely go uh, 450 uh, if we wanted, really wanted to. And now keep in mind that there is a uh, battery buffer past zero, uh, sometimes uh, anywhere between three to five kilowatt hours. Uh, this battery is rated for about 58 to 59 kilowatt hours. Uh, so that would be kind of uh, relevant. Uh, there is probably some degradation, but uh, not much. And uh, as you can see, our efficiency is pretty darn insane. Only 118 watt hours per kilometer for this whole entire trip. Now, in summary, I think the range test went really well. We went above uh, what the car is actually rated for. Uh, but there are two key factors I do want to mention. Firstly is the temperature with the summer weather is definitely in our favor. Batteries run better and more efficiently at the hotter temperatures, as well as the aerodynamic benefits of the warmer climate helps us tremendously as well. The other thing too is my personal driving style is a little bit slower than average. I'm not going too below the speed limit, but I'm usually traveling just under or at the speed limit for most of my driving. In fact, uh, my lifetime efficiency at 30,000 uh, kilometers is only 126 watt hours per kilometer. That's significantly lower than pretty much every other Tesla I've encountered, uh, even with the same specifications. Now, we're gonna have a full review, a two year review of this car, as well as a one year review of our 2023 Model Y on the channel. Check out the description down below for more information about everything we've talked about. And please give us a thumbs up and like this video if you liked it. And let me know if you like the style of content. I'll definitely love to do more because I had a lot of fun driving this thing. So we'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.